What's going on, everybody? Happy whatever day of the week it is. It's probably hump day with the day I post this. I believe it's a Wednesday video, unless something else comes out. But we got a little bit of a interesting development. Uh, we talked about this a little bit ago. Um, but indictment, sports card buyers stole $118,000 in collectibles. So this deals with sports cards. This deals with check fraud and all the fun stuff that goes with that. This is brought to us by Fox 8 News. Link will be in the description for all the fun stuff. If you guys want to read through, look at it and stuff like that. There, do not mind the video that is playing in the top right of the webpage. That's just one of their feature things, probably from the storm that just went on here a couple days ago. Hopefully by now my roof is fixed. Alrighty. So we're looking at Amherst Township in Ohio, a man who owns... A local collectible shop sold tens of thousands of sports trading cards to a man for more than $118,000, only to later learn the buyer's checks had bounced. All right, guys. I know some of you guys are some bankers out there. How long does it take to know if a check bounces? I know there's some electronic clearing methods. I figured it has to be just a couple days now at the most. It's not like years ago where it was 10, 50, 10 business days, 15 business days to find a check has you know, been bounced and stuff, but... I know some of you guys will know the answer to that question. Put it down in the comments for me because I don't really track that stuff. I do all my stuff electronically. I don't even own a checkbook anymore. That's kind of sad. And I haven't seen anybody use a checkbook other than my mother, who is 70-some years old right now, still uses her checkbook. Um, I really don't know anybody who uses a checkbook. I don't even think half people know how to balance a checkbook anymore, to be honest, man. Remember that stuff, 90s, 2000s, balancing your checkbook? Craziness, right? But let's get back into the story before I start feeling really old again. All right, so the victim, this is the owner, and this is what was updated in the story. The owner of Mama Tried Sports Cards along Telegraph Road in the township told the county sheriff's deputies that he started partnering in April of 2022 with the individual's name, 39, of Huron. The, the uh, I don't know why it says Seville. I'm not from the area, so it's kind of doesn't make sense to me. Man gave, oh, I got it. That's where Mama's trading cards is at. Gave the guilty party about 100,000 sports trading cards to sell between April and June of the year. In return, the guy wrote and made checks, each between nine and 18,000, according to police report. But a week after the last check was signed, the alleged victim's bank alerted the card shop owner, they were returned for non-sufficient funds. Huh. Of course, you know, we're going to get into the, oh, this is what happened type deal and stuff like that there. Guy shows a picture of his bank account. It shows, uh, tells in the story here that he had the money of his account. He doesn't know what's going on. Oh, my goodness. But the weird thing was the account number shown in the photo didn't match the account, according to the report here. Um, the person's business was called Ohio Breaks LLC that wrote the non-sufficient funds checks. Secretary of the State Records Show for a Profit Entity Named Ohio Breaks LLC was formed in January 22 through a statutory agent. I believe that's because they had somebody else do all the work for them. If I recall doing this correctly, you got to remember when I established my business, it was in, oh gosh, six, seven years ago. I did that all myself. But I think that's when they talk about the statutory agents means you went out and paid somebody to do all your licensing and stuff. Anyhow, the money never came. Nearly a month went by. The guy didn't answer his phone calls. I mean, that's just obvious or text. Sheriff investigators then subpoenaed the individual's bank records and found he had more than, now just get this, more than $69,000 in the account. That month, the alleged victim retained civil attorney to seek restitution. Craziness. It talks more about uh, attorney stuff in there. He was indicted in January in felony counts of theft and passing bad checks. He was released on his own recognizance. Court records show. 
And we got more going into this story on March 3rd. All right, guys, again, this is all going to be the link to this article on Fox News, or Fox, yeah, Fox News 8 will be in the description. You guys want to read more into it, get the name and all that stuff. Since there's not a whole lot passed on judgment yet, we'll see what comes of it. We talked about this briefly in January when it came about. We now know the name of the victim along with the person that wrote the bad checks. According to this article, I don't think I'd ever take a check for sports cards, to be honest. Um, I have on occasion. Now, let me rephrase why I have on occasion. It's because I've known the person for a very long time. And I knew their their check was good. <laughs> and I was surprised they even had a checkbook. But, I mean, some people still do have it. But I seldom will take it. I will just be like, hey, you could use your card attached to your bank account. Go to the website. Use Extreme Bucks. I'll write your receipt here. Extreme Bucks was used for blah, blah, blah. If you need it for tax purposes, stuff like that. Be very, very careful still out there. Um, there is some breaking news going on, which I have to get more involved into it. It's right now more of a he said, she said thing. Where at one of the prominent shows there was some fake money being passed around. I don't know the truth behind that part, so I'm digging into it. I don't want to label the card show that went on with it and stuff like that until I get some more information. I'm sure uh, somebody's going to break it way before me, but we'll still do an update to that once I find out more on to it. Be careful taking money at shows, guys. Even if it's already looks like it's been wrapped by the band, by the bank, and stuff like that, be very, very careful. Bring your marking pens for those hundred dollar bills and stuff. You know, you don't have to check every single one if you're doing a huge transaction, but I would still do it to make sure that the money is real coming across. Um, it could have been that somebody got fraudulent money from somebody else and they used it to pay somewhere else. I don't know the whole thing to it. But I'm sure more and more will come out of it here in the next couple of weeks. We'll see what comes about on it. Like I said, I just got wind word of it through passing talk, we'll call it, offhand. So we'll see if any truth comes of the story here down the road. I don't, like I said, I don't want to start slandering card shows or anything like that out there uh, talking about it, especially if they have an investigation going on onto it. I haven't seen much anywhere else wrote onto it, so it makes me wonder how much of it actually was passed around or if it is a true story or not. Other than that, guys, like I said, link is in the description for this one here that the indictment, $118,000 in sports cards with bad checks, if you guys want to check it out. We'll keep a follow-up uh, after, well, something will come out here shortly because it said March 3rd, right? Yeah. So there'll be something more coming out on this one here shortly as well, too. But other than that, guys, I am out. Don't forget, What Not Card Show version 2.0, March 24th for us. It will be at 2.15 p.m. Eastern. I will start uh, approximately, I would say, 50 to 70 auction items. Uh, I would probably say about 40 to 50 will start at a dollar. Some of them will be at like 50% perceived value, which what I could find as value on the cards. And probably about, oh, I'm going to guess 60 to 100 of uh, buy it nows. And you guys know we'll probably start running some auctions on that stuff too. But other than that, check out the whatnot. Uh, it's supposed to be a huge event, 400 vendors, three days. Over 100,000 sports cards listed for sale. I know I'm going to be bouncing around uh, Friday and Sunday. Checking out people's streams. See what I can find and pick up as well too. Might be some of them rare cards I've been looking for over the years. That might pop up on some of these streams. Alright guys, that is it. I am out. Take care. Have a good rest of the week. I will catch you guys next video. Oh, overtime coming back Friday night. Don't forget about that too. Later, guys.